In this video, I would like to introduce an instructional design model focused on creating motivation in the classroom. This model, called ARCS, was created by Dr. John Keller, Professor Emeritus at Florida State University in 1979, but it still has influence and relevance today, especially in e-learning. Let's first dive into what ARCS stands for. ARCS is an acronym for Attention, Relevance, Confidence, and Satisfaction. Each of these words can be further broken down into operational pieces, so we'll first turn our focus to attention. According to Keller, attention is caused by two factors, perceptual arousal and inquiry arousal. Perceptual arousal is caused by surprise, doubt, or disbelief. This could be enacted in your instructional design by using humor, such as short stories or light jokes, creating conflict with making statements that learners may believe to be false, and using a variety of media types. Inquiry-based arousal elicits a learner's curiosity by creating problems that need to be solved. This is easiest done by using real-world examples that students can easily connect to and apply in real life. Another way to do this is to encourage active participation in class through hands-on practice, games, or role play. The second part of the ARCS acronym, R, stands for relevance. In its essence, it means to make the class relatable to students. The first way to do this is by giving the students choice. This choice could be as small as choosing the media type or as large as choosing the concepts that will be used in class. Another way to motivate students with relevance is to clearly show how what they are learning correlates to skills that will help them outside the class. Within the classroom, it is also important to create a connection to what they have already know from previous experience. This could be a connection to a previous lesson or even a connection to their personal lives. Lastly, you as an instructor should create a model of success. This is clearest when you or those who present material to the class clearly show how you have successfully applied the information that you have learned. The third part of the ARCS model is confidence. Of course, confidence is an important part of our social lives, but we can also give students confidence in their academic lives. One basic part of this that you may already know is to communicate your learning outcomes. This is important as it creates a goal for students to reach. These outcomes should be made clear at the beginning of the course and are best presented at the beginning of lessons as well. Feedback can also create confidence as it lets students know if they are meeting the outcomes that you outlined. Constructive feedback is especially important in e-learning as students may have less contact hours with you. Confidence can also be created by giving students more autonomy and control over the learning process. By giving them a little more control, you convey that they are responsible for their own learning. The last part of the ARCS model is satisfaction. Every learner wants to feel satisfied with their courses, and there are two direct ways to create a sense of satisfaction. Praise and immediate application. Praise or rewards are simple ways to tell learners that they are doing a good job. Give praise when students do something correct and create rewards to celebrate milestones. The second method of satisfaction, immediate application, is relatively clear. Give students the opportunity to use skills that they learned in class in the real world. When students feel more satisfied, their motivation to do well will naturally increase. And there you have it, the ARCS model. When designing your course or lessons, keep in mind that motivation is a key factor. From this video, I hope you have learned more about building motivation with the ARCS model. If you would like assistance with instructional design, the Innovative Learning Hub at NU is always available.